little bit of a difficult thing. For, it's not that it's difficult. Okay, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit difficult to talk about. So um, yeah, but I wanted to film talking about how I lost 45 pounds because um, some people have been asking me, like DMing me, asking me how I lost weight, stuff like that. And so. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about it because, like I've always said from the beginning of all my videos, even if one of my videos can help somebody, that's all that matters at the end of the day. So I just want positive energy, positive vibes, something good to come out of my videos so that when you watch it, you either learn something, feel more motivated, or feel less alone. So that's just that's the reason I'm doing this video. So yeah, but let's just jump right into the video. Um, so first off, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but it's gonna be a little bit of me talking. So sit back and relax, grab a drink, grab some food or something. I just finished making fish and some carrots I baked in the oven. So um, I'm going to go sit over there and talk to you guys for a little bit while I'm eating. Um, and then I'll come back to the couch. Um, okay, so I actually took notes earlier today because I was very nervous to film this video. So I have notes that I may be looking at a notebook. So please don't judge me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, so I wanted to sit down and um, eat at the beginning of this video. Then, I'm, like I said earlier, I'm going to go back to the couch and we'll sit and talk some more. But I just wanted to sit down and eat with you guys because um, the basis of this video is kind of we're going to be discussing um, eating disorders so I know that could be kind of a sensitive topic for some people so if it is and it's something that you don't want to sit through then um, I'm just letting you know in advance so you can click off of this video but if it's something that you're struggling with or something that you're kind of curious to learn about more then you can obviously uh, sit through the video and I'd be more than happy to um, have you guys join me but the reason I am gonna sit and eat is because I have struggled with um, eating disorders um, in the past and I know how difficult it is sometimes to sit down and eat a meal I know how scary honestly it is and how frustrating it can be and how much anxiety it can cause so I sometimes would sit down and watch uh, videos of people eating and stuff because it would make me push myself to eat and just feel more comfortable so if anyone's like struggling with eating and they want to sit down and watch and like eat food or if anybody you know it's just not like I said if anyone's struggling with eating and you want to sit down and maybe this will help you eat your meal because food is good for you and healthy so please join me having dinner but hopefully my chewing is not too obnoxious sorry for looking in the notebook but um okay so the topic of the video, I'm talking about how I lost 45 pounds. And so the reason that I wanted to make this video is because I have had some people DMing me asking how I lost weight, um, especially the amount of weight that I lost. And so I wanted to talk to you guys about how I honestly lost the weight. So for me, the reason I also wanted to make this video is because I feel like I have seen, especially through my weight loss journey, I've seen so many videos or so many TikToks of girls losing a large amount of weight and becoming very, very skinny. And then they're, they're you know, they're like content creators or maybe they weren't before, but then they post these videos or post pictures and then of such a, a dramatic weight loss. And then a lot of people want to see how they did that. And I think that that's a really great thing, but I think that it can also be like a really detrimental thing to people's mental health and especially to people who can, um, I think those things can like trigger eating disorders. TikTok, TikTok the other day and I don't know if any of you guys know who Tessa Brooks, Tessa Brooks I think her name is Tessa Brooks. I really, I really like her. I think she's really talented, but I was watching, um, some videos of her and I know a lot of girls like watching her and especially because she's lost so much weight like her body is very very thin and I just have seen the comments and stuff of a lot of girls being like how'd you lose a weight like I want to look like that so badly all this stuff 
Um, and I saw like one comment or something and it kind of made me have like an epiphany and some girl was like, are you okay? You look really thin. Like, are you eating enough? Like, you, you kind of look a little bit unhealthy, which I'm not trying to sit here and be like, oh my gosh, everybody should judge everyone's body and like say that you look sick. And like, I'm not trying to sit here and like point fingers or anything, but she responded to the comment and was like, I think she said something along the lines of like, yeah, I'm fine. I've just been struggling a little bit with like eating or something. And I noticed that I don't really think she's talked about that at all, but she has so much content, which I'm not shaming her at all. Cause I really like her, but she has so much content where she's showing off her body and how skinny she is. And the thing with that is I feel like, and when I say this, I'm not saying all like influencers are all content creators, but I do feel like there's a lot of influencers, a lot of content creators who lose weight in an unhealthy way. They like develop an eating disorder um, and they start losing the weight and then they start promoting it and showing it to other girls and then those girls are starting to look up to them because they want to look that way and they want to be that size, they want to be that skinny. But the thing is, what I'm kind of starting to realize is a lot of these girls that are getting that thin aren't doing it in a healthy way. They're just getting skinny. Um, sadly, a lot of them are developing eating disorders. Um, and once again, when I say this, I'm not saying everybody. I'm just saying that I'm sure there's a lot of people and one of them happens to be me. And so I struggled a lot because I wanted to come back onto YouTube and I wanted to be making lots of videos like weight loss stuff, you know, like more glow up body type related things. Like I, so what was I? I think I was originally like 155 pounds and then I lost weight in a healthy way. And then I was at like a good, like solid, like 130, 135. And it was good and it was healthy for me. And then this past summer, it got really bad and I was struggling with food. I couldn't even, um, I couldn't even bring myself to putting oil inside of the pan because I was so scared about the amount of calories that was inside, that was in oil. Like, I wasn't even putting like butter or anything on my toast and I would freak out and panic and be like, oh my gosh, I can't have two eggs because one egg is 70 calories and two eggs that would be way too many calories for me I'd be like 140 calories and it was just like why I knew too many numbers I knew the calories of way too many foods and I was freaking out and I was like I have to take this piece of toast I have to cut it in half and then I'm gonna make one egg and that's gonna be all I'm gonna eat one egg on top of half a piece of toast and I would eat that just for lunch and then I would have like a really tiny dinner and that is just so so unhealthy so I dropped so much weight and I'm on Accutane right now and I've lost so much weight. I got down to like 111 pounds this summer or like 112 pounds and I lost so much weight. I go from 40 milligrams and then they're supposed to up my dosage on Accutane to 80. The dermatologist pretty much said that I couldn't go up to the 80 milligrams because I had lost too much weight, which was really unhealthy obviously. Um, and so I just had the problem where I don't want to put content out there that is relating to like weight loss because I don't want to deceive people. And I'm gonna say this a million times with this video, I'm not sitting here and saying everyone who does weight loss videos because I've done them in the past where I've lost weight in a healthy way. Um, and I'm not saying every influencer that loses weight obviously and that makes videos and then, you know, content and stuff from that. I'm not saying that they all have eating disorders. I'm not going to sit here and like try to point fingers, but I'm saying that I did. And I'm saying that there are other girls who, uh, there are some influencers, I'm, sh I'm certain, um, especially a lot of girls on TikTok who are losing so much weight so rapidly. Um, they, I think, are seeing it like as an opportunity to speak to a lot of girls because that's something that gets a lot of views is like glow up stuff. I mean, that's how my channel got subscribers was my glow up stuff. Um, and so I just feel like I haven't really, personally, I'm sure there are videos, but I haven't really seen a video of somebody talking about how they lost so much weight, but talking about how um, they did it in a way that's unhealthy and it's honestly not, not realistic. So yeah, I just remember when I was like at my heaviest weight, I was trying to lose weight so rapidly because that's honestly all that I wanted. Like I just wanted to 
took photos of weight and I was looking at other girls and they were so skinny and they lost their like 30, 40, 50 pound weight loss, all this stuff. And then like that's all that I wanted and I just wanted to do it so, so quickly because for me like i had and it was and look what happened i i did it i successfully did it and i will tell you in a second how ba how bad it was and it's like you will lose all this weight at, at at what cost you know at the cost of your mental health um so yeah sorry i still have my notebook but okay we're back to the couch so yeah i um I tore my meniscus because I wasn't eating enough food and I was getting so thin that it was like messing up the muscles um, surrounding my knees and I was wearing KT tape all the time, literally crying myself to sleep because my knees were in such excruciating pain. My under eyes were so, so dark and baggy. Um, I remember like when I was visiting my family, my grandma was like, you look really skinny, like you look too skinny, are you sick, like you don't look good. And that's the thing, it's like, I had dreamt of being that way for so freaking long and I had wanted to be skinny, I wanted to be thin, I wanted to feel dainty, I wanted my collarbones to pop out, like, I wanted, I wanted my cheeks to be sucked in and I got it, I got it, and I got it at what cost? At the cost of literally my mental health. I had such bad brain fog, I couldn't do anything. I was so hissy, I was in such a bad mood because I didn't have food to fuel me. No food to fuel my brain. Um, no food to, 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 to give me energy, and to give me energy to go out and do things with my friends. And it was just really, really bad. It's like, damn, it's not worth it. It's not. Worth it. It's not worth it to be that way. And now, because I did that and I did that damage to my body because I thought that it was the only thing that was going to make me happy, I was convinced. I was convinced that if I got to that way, I was going to be happy and I was going to feel fully confident and love myself. And let me tell you, that's just not true. It's just not true. And it's like, I know, I know what it feels like when you guys come. I don't care. I just want to be thinner. I want to. I'm going to be happier. I don't care. I want to lose the weight. And I know. I understand because I felt the same exact way. And the thing is though, I was so like fixated on everything I wanted to change about myself in the moment. I was convinced that if I lost the weight then I was going to be happy, then I was going to be confident. And what I realized when I was looking back on pictures where I was heavier, I realized I'm like, I wasn't any less beautiful. I was just not confident because I had convinced myself that by having a little bit more weight on your body or by even just being at a healthy weight, if you didn't have your collarbone sticking out or you didn't have a really sharp jawline, I convinced myself that you weren't beautiful. And I think a lot of times we struggle because it's like society's you know, standards and stuff. You, know, you see all these magazines, all these Instagram pictures of people's insanely flat stomachs and, you know, they're so thin and it's like, well, I have to be like that or I'm not considered beautiful and that's just so not true. And so I convinced myself that and then I felt so shitty about myself when I was, when I weighed more that I had zero confidence and I can see it in my face and pictures and it's like if I had just changed my mindset when I was at that weight, like I can be 150 pounds and beautiful. It's the way you carry yourself, you know, it's the, the effort you put into your look, like I just convince myself I was ugly and that that weight was fat, that I was like, whatever, I'm already so ugly anyways, like, I'm just gonna be miserable and I'm not gonna, like, put effort into my outfits or put effort into my hair or put effort into my makeup at all because I convinced myself that I just didn't look good. And then, sadly, it wasn't until I started losing my weight where I was like, oh, I, I actually look, I actually look good. I look good because, you know, I look super thin and, and, and you know, like, all the girls in the magazines and stuff like that, let me like start, you know, do my makeup and blah blah blah. And I promise you, if you do it that way, if you watch videos of weight loss and, and look at, you know, these TikTokers and these bodies and if you be like, oh my god, I want to do that so quickly, I want to do it so quickly, like you can lose weight, you can lose weight in a healthy way. But it gets to a point where you become so fixated on it, 
it's like a number and I, you look at the scale and it's like, oh, I gotta get lower, I gotta get lower, I gotta get lower. And it, it, the way to get lower in some, some points it buys, is by being, um, is by taking in like little to no calories. And it, it's not pretty and it's not healthy to look sick. It's not, that's not, that's not pretty and it's not healthy either. I just really wanted to talk about this in a video because I wanted you guys to know that if you're frustrated during the weight loss and you're just upset and you're like, why won't my weight come off? Why is it coming off so slowly? You know why? Because you're doing it in a healthy way. Because our bodies are just not designed to lose weight that rapidly. It's not because when you do it that rapidly, it comes with doing it in an unhealthy way. And you can lose weight, but slowly. And there's weight that your body wants to hold on to. And when you start fixating over things, and you focus on, like, I want my cheekbones to be all sucked in, it's going to come, and it's going to come, though, in a very, very unhealthy and very dangerous way. I just... I... I'm really sorry if this video is frustrating because I know how much it, it means to people to watch stuff about weight loss because weight loss is very transformative. It can completely change your life and it can change your life for the better and make you 10 times more confident. Um, but I, I wanted to make this video because I, it's something that I, I was struggling with. I'm learning to get better and I'm pushing myself every day and I am putting weight back on in a healthy way. I'm really happy um, and I'm, you know, pushing myself to eat more and telling myself like eating is good, eating is healthy, you need this food, it's energy and I'm starting to get better. My, my mind set is getting healthier and my body is becoming healthier and I'm not having panic attacks at restaurants when I'm ordering something because I'm not freaking out about the calories. I'm just living life and learning and enjoying food. And I'm so sorry if this video makes me upset because I do know the importance um, and the, I know the significance of like weight loss videos. People love watching that stuff. I, I love watching that stuff because I want to learn tips. And I'm sure you came to the video because you wanted a tip. And I'm sure, I, I, I'm sure it's going to make some people frustrated because they're going to be like, what the fuck, bitch? Like, shut up. I wanted weight loss tips. I don't want you to talk about like eating disorder. But I, I am sorry. I, I have to talk about it. I have to talk about it because I know what, what it feels like to just so frustrated with weight loss and I know what it feels like to look at, at other people and be like why why isn't it coming off why is the weight not coming off you know and I just want you, want you guys to know that I've been on the other side and it is not all sunshine and rainbows and I, I want you guys to not feel alone and you know if anyone else is struggling with this but I just don't want, I just wanted to really talk about this because I wish that when I was super frustrated with weight loss and so fixated on the way that I looked, I wish that I had a video to watch where somebody said like, hey, it's not worth it doing this, it's not, it's not worth it and don't compare yourself to other people because like I said, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. A lot of times, a lot of these girls are suffering. Um, not all of them, but a lot of these girls are suffering and they're doing it in an unhealthy way. I was suffering and I was doing it in a very unhealthy way. And so I'm trying to just remind people and let people know that it isn't always what it seems like. And so if you're frustrated with weight loss and, you know, you're doing all the things, you're eating healthy, it's not coming off, it's fine. Okay. It is fine. Take your time. Enjoy the process. You know, the, the weight loss is it's up and down when you're doing it in a healthy way. Keep doing it in a healthy way because the other side of things, it gets really bad. And it gets really bad really quickly. And it gets very addictive. And I would hate to see anybody doing that. You know, just remember that food is energy and sit down and 
your stomach has rolls or you bloat, it's normal, it's beautiful, let's just normalize that and say that it's sexy and beautiful because it is, and because it's our bodies, it's natural. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, I hope, I hope this video helped, honestly, I hope that something made sense or I hope that someone got something from it or I hope that if somebody is struggling, um, that you know that you're not alone. I love you guys so, so, so much, and thank you for sitting through. If you watched the whole video, I really appreciate it, and um, let me know in the comments what other videos you want from me. Um, yeah, this is a really scary topic for me to talk about. Even if I seem calm, I pushed this off for so long, and I like freaked out before. That's why I wrote like three pages of notes on it, so please be nice in the comments. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I love you guys. As I said again, um, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, that would be really nice. And if you want, you can put your post notifications on so that you know when I upload something. But, yeah, leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. And I love you guys so much. And just know that you are never alone. And if you ever need to DM me, you can. And I will try my best to get back to you so you can have a conversation. But yeah, I love you all so, so much and thank you for watching.